what is up guys it's mike from mike gadgets world and today's video is about the apple 4k tv so i recently got the apple tv 4k and i wanted to do a two hour video for the setup and um, how you can do the hdr setting for the apple 4k tv so i have the lg oled and i'm going to show you um, from the beginning how to set up the apple 4k tv so let's begin it As you can see, this is the start of the screen. The Apple TV is booting up. It's gonna ask you to pair the remote controls. It is so easy, just you have to tap anywhere. It has a trackpad kind of system, so you can tap anywhere on the trackpad of the remote control and it should pair. So just tap it and it will get connected. Now you can go ahead and select the language of your preference, so I would go and select the English language. You can swipe on the trackpad for going up and down, so you can scroll like this. So all what you have to do is scroll down to the English language. It's really sensitive, so I'm trying to get hold onto this trackpad and uh, it is kind of very, it's very fluid, so I'll get used to it. So well, I select the language English, then it will ask you to connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly connect to my Wi-Fi. You can select your country, region, uh, wherever you live accordingly. I will select the United States for this case. There we go. Once you do this, uh, Siri is very important. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate Siri because it does a lot of operations uh, automatically. Like you just ask for going to the settings. It will take you to the settings. You want to go to specific settings. It will take you there. It will play videos for you. So it is kind of a really cool feature to, to just leave it active. So I'm going to set up my device. It will ask you for my ID and connect to my Wi-Fi. So I'll just skip through there. Once you're done setting up your Apple ID, it will ask you to provide your uh, cable network provider. You can just press uh, continue and select your cable network provider from the list. So you can you can activate a couple of channels which are provided to you. In my case, it is Xfinity. So I could go ahead and use ABC, uh, AMC, uh, CNN Go, Fox News. So I could go and activate those. This is a cool feature, but I don't want to use it because it will take about 650 MB. Uh, weekly data so I don't want to consume 650 megabyte data every week so it could be about like 800 megabyte that's what they say so I'm gonna just leave it now for this feature because they are kind of like screen savers but they are the video screen savers I don't want them and I don't want to send analytics right now to Apple so I'll just click don't send because otherwise it will keep sending each and everything to Apple like all the bugs and all the errors so I want to try HDR the first thing so I'll press try the HDR it will automatically select the best settings for me so I think it is working on it and as you see the logo on top there it says HDR and I'm gonna keep the settings on so I'll press OK as soon as you do that I think it's gonna take you to the main screen here we go so it has TV App Store movies iTunes TV shows from iTunes and then uh, of course the Apple music so all the music is gonna come here then you go to settings you can see a lot of things over there so let's get into that so if you go to videos and audio settings you will find a lot of things over there but here we have the general overview of the settings so there is system you can go and check for the software updates that's the very first thing I do so I'm on 11.0 right now and I'm gonna hit software update so it says there's an update available, so I'm gonna download and hit install. So it's gonna take me to the latest software before I do any changes to my device. So this is the very basic and first step to do. Whenever you get a new device, make sure you check for the software updates. So this is updating my software, it's pretty quick. It's gonna take about a minute. So I think it's gonna restart the device and it's gonna take a while. So I'll, I'll just skip those steps. So here's the very important option that you have to activate in your, in your TVs. If you are using the LG TV as I'm doing, you have to go to the all settings and you have to go to the general settings 
Once you go there, you have to scroll all the way down and uh, you will go to the HDMI deep color options. Make sure that HDMI deep color is on for the particular HDMI that you are using. So for my case, it is HDMI 2. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the HDMI ultra color for the HDMI 2. And I have turned it on for HDMI 3 and 4 because I have PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X. So you have to find the specific settings in your TV. If you are using Samsung, it will be under the expert setting. And if you have any other TV, you can ask me anytime. But make sure this is on HDMI deep color. So now as you can see, the update has completed and I'm using the tvOS 11.1 and I'm on resolution 2160p Ultra HD 60Hz HDR10. So this is pretty much it from the settings. If you want to go ahead and see the menu setting for the display and audio, I could show that to you so you guys can do the specific settings for your particular TV. So here's a good thing that uh, the TV remote control is working with Apple 4K TV. So I don't have to use the Apple uh, TV remote separately. I could just go ahead and use my LG TV remote control. But there's a setting for the LG TV that you have to do. You have to make sure that you are using the HDMI CEC options, which are turned on. So right here, if you see that my TV, I can, I can go up and down using the scroll buttons on my LG remote control. So you have to go to the settings on my LG TV. I have to go to the settings and I have to go to the general menu and I have to go to the Simplink, um, Simplink HDMI CEC. In your TV, it will be HDMI CEC. So make sure that that option is turned on. So once you click that, you will have the option to turn on this option. This feature is really good because you can control your receiver, you can control your 4K players with, with, with one remote control of your TV. So I'm going to do auto power sync. So as soon as I press the button for the power, it will turn off all the systems attached to my TV. So this is a pretty nice option. I don't want my TV to be turned off and my Apple TV to be turned on all the time. So this is a good option. So make sure you utilize that. In the picture setting menu, if you go to the formats, you will see there are a lot of formats available for the 4K, 1080p, and the HDR and SDR options. So uh, I'm going to show you what options are available there. So once I go and click the format, it's going to take me into all the options available. So it has 4K HDR 60 Hz, that's what we are going to use here for 4K HDR. Then it has a standard definition. Uh, which is 4K SDR, then it has the 1080p Dolby Vision. I don't think so, I'm going to use 1080p Dolby Vision, 1080p HDR. So I'm going to keep it to 4K HDR. That's the only best option I have available here. I should switch to Dolby Vision by itself when I play the Dolby Vision content. So 4K HDR, Dolby Vision is available in 30 Hz. So that's how I'm going to keep it, keep it that way. So 4K Dolby Vision if you want to do and if you want to play the 4K Dolby Vision content. If you go uh, uh, further below, you will see 25 hertz, which is not for the uh, standard for the United States, and 50 hertz as well, it's for European standards. So we keep here 60 hertz and 30 hertz. So 60 hertz for the HDR and uh, 30 hertz for the Dolby Vision. So that's all from the settings menu. Now I'm gonna take you to the interface where I'm gonna play some videos and you can see like how they appear on the screen. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you can see my testing because this is the only one day that I have used this device and I'm going to test more on this device and uh, post another video soon. So make sure that you are subscribed, like and share if you like it. And uh, let me know how it is working out for you if you have the Apple TV 4K. So peace out.